Hi folks. Today I want to show you another example of a topic I've covered in another video. It's an EGR problem and in the previous video we used a Detroit DD series engine as an example. In this case we're going to look at another engine that's very prone to this problem. It's a Cummins ISL or the older generation ISC. The problem is soot buildup and plugging in the EGR differential pressure sensor ports. This problem can set a few different engine codes, most of them pertaining to EGR flow, and if misdiagnosed, they can even lead to unnecessarily changing an EGR valve, which is pretty pricey. Which is why I think if you're running one of these engines in your own personal truck, it'd be a good idea to pull this sensor off and clean these ports out once in a while just as preventive maintenance. Here I'll just give you a quick look at where these ports are and how to clean them out. On these engines, the differential pressure sensor sits on the intake side of the engine, actually right above the intake manifold. Here you can see the EGR temperature sensor, the EGR differential pressure sensor, and the EGR valve. Accessing the ports is as simple as disconnecting the electrical connectors on the sensors and removing two 10 mm screws that hold the sensor in place. To blow air through these ports, one of them is drilled straight down and the other is drilled on a bit of an angle so you'll have to get in there with a the blowgun. In this example the ports are clear and you can hear the air blowing through into the intake manifold. It's not uncommon to find one or both of these ports totally plugged. The ports change directions as they flow through the intake manifold. If you do need to clean them out, you may need to remove these Allen head screws or plugs that block off the ends of the ports. While you have all this apart, it may be a good time to clean up your EGR valve to make sure it keeps working properly also. Maybe even have a peek inside the EGR cooler to make sure it's not totally loaded with soot or even a little puddle of coolant in there. Well that's about it for this video. I hope it helped you out in some way. If so, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe for more, and thanks for watching.